How do you classify it? It's a terrorist attack. We, we're still in shock. We still can't believe what happened. We're not safe here either. Our community is devastated because now we won't see our brother running to prayer in the mosque. First of all, on the behalf of the Islamic Central Council of Switzerland, I would like to express you and your family our condolences for your family loss. May Allah grant you patience and tranquility, and may Allah the Almighty give the departed the highest place in Jannah and unite you one day there again. Um, um, my first question is, how are you and how is your family? We, we're still in shock. We still can't believe what happened. Um, we, we're also very confused. Um, you know, we, we Im my family immigrated here from uh, Pakistan, hoping that we would be grant granted safety here, you know, but we're not safe here either. And nowhere, is, we thought this would be our home, but it's sad that it's, nowhere is our home. It, it, wherever we go, we, it's, it's not our home. And in 2017, I traveled to Canada after the mosque attacks in Quebec. And at that time, I experienced Canada as a very friendly, open society. I had not one bad experience with my identity as a Muslim where here in Europe. If so, as long as you go all out, you already feel the bad vibes towards you. So I was very shocked that this happened in Canada. What is your feeling about that? You know, um, everyone is, everyone is shocked. Everyone is, everyone is confused. And it, it, it's something that you wouldn't expect. You know, worldwide, Canada is known as the please and thank you uh, country. We're, we're, we're known as very polite people. And, you know, they, they call Canada in, uh, in, in um, sociological terms, uh, the, the salad bowl, where they, they welcome diversity. Mm -hmm. And I, Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, we have a majority of the people that are accepting and they're nice. But unfortunately, there, there are uh, people that are, that are, it's shocking that these are the same people that are in our country mm -hmm. because they, they, they're, they're different. They, I don't, I'm sorry, but I'm human. All these people are human, but those people, I don't call them human. That's not humanity. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Um, the London police chief has described the attack on your five family members as a planned Islamophobic act. How do you classify it? It's a terrorist attack. It was a terrorist attack. Uh, they even even our prime minister called it a terrorist attack. Um, uh, and it, it it just boggles my mind because if it, if the roles were reversed, automatically automatically the the name would have been placed on us mm. why are they why are they taking their time you know alhamdulillah they, they they're doing a thorough investigation they're doing their best mm. right and I, i'm happy what they're doing and i'm happy the about the support they've given us but call it what it is and but, it is a terrorist attack yeah but also the trudeau's also tweeted and said very fast that this was an act of islamophobia he named it yes. at this, he named it directly as it is. Um, how are your family and you dealing with the loss? What are the reactions of the community? So um, just to clarify, the the direct individuals that uh, passed away, they they were very, very close family friends. We've known them for more than 15 to 16 years. Um, it, it, we, they were basically our family here because we have no family here. Um, and it, it, it's shocking because out of all the people in the world, they were the type of people that wouldn't even hurt a spider. They wouldn't hurt an ant. They, they were very careful with where they walked, you know? You know, we have this rule in Canada that you're allowed to drive over five kilometers over the speed limit. Mm -hmm. They were the type of people that wouldn't even go above the speed limit. Mm -hmm. You know, they, and our community is devastated because now we won't see our brother running to prayer in the mosque. SubhanAllah. And that's also interesting because, you know, they say we have a problem with the radical extremism Muslims, but the victims of Islamophobia are all the Muslims. It's not one specific group who are the victims 
It can be everyone. It can be me. It can be your family. It can be my mother. It can be my friends. No one is really safe from Islamophobia. Subhanallah. No one. No one. Mm. Are, you, um, are you surprised that this attack even happened? How is this the situation concerning Islamophobia in Canada? You see, growing up, I'm now 22 years old, and I started wearing the hijab at 14. Um, and it's, it's, it's confusing because ever since from 14 to 22, I've experienced certain co- kind of comments. I've experienced sort of certain people being uncomfortable with me. And um, for example, I wasn't treated equally in school because of my hijab. Um, and so and that, that was something normal for me. But going to this p- point, I would have never expected it. I, I, I would have never expected this. SubhanAllah. Um, is there anything that we Muslims here in Europe can do to support you and your family? Um, we have a GoFundMe page and a LaunchGood page. The LaunchGood page is from the family that is residing in the U.S. And the GoFundMe page has been created here by our uh, family here in London, Ontario. Um, if people want to support and give Sadaqa Jariya, Sadaqa Jariya on their behalf, please do, do so. Uh, but for now, all I ask, and I know my sister who passed away, may Allah grant her the highest levels of Jannah, mm-hmm. she, would have want, she would have wanted this, and this is what I'm going to tell my sisters. There, there will be people out there telling you, take off your hijab, don't wear your traditional clothes, you know, don't make sure you, you, don't, you don't identify as a Muslim. Identify as a Muslim. This is your pride, this is your Islam, carry it with you, like it's a piece of gold because Allah subhanahu, ta'ala, Allah subhanahu ta'ala has commanded you to do this to identify that you are a Muslim. We need to take pride in our religion. We are the representation of our Islam. And my sister was walking. She was walking. And she, she, she wore this with pride. And I'm wearing it with pride. And I'm never going to take it off. SubhanAllah, I really honestly have goosebumps. Bumps. I don't know how I say it correct, but it's really touched me what you said because the the solution of this problem is not leaving Islam. That's not the solution 100%. of that. You have to hold strong on your deen, and you have to be proud, and you don't have you have, giving up is not the option. Yes, not and we, option. we shouldn't we shouldn't we shouldn't show the, these people that we're scared of them. We shouldn't show these people that we have fear. We need to show these people that we are strong. We need to show these people that, look, you put, how many people did you put in the grave in Christchurch, New Zealand? How many people did you put in the grave in Quebec? How many people did you put in the grave on Sunday? No matter what you do, we will not have any fear. You, you take away a million people, we will not have fear. Our Muslim woman is going to stay strong and we're going to represent ourselves for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the best of our abilities. May Allah bless your words. Is there any advice you would like to give to the Muslims all around the world? You know, the one thing I want to say is this is not about race. This is not about culture. You, this is not about being Pakistani, Afghani, Turkish, Iraqi, Egyptian. This is not about that anymore. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created us to be Muslims and to serve him and to follow the sunnah of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That is our duty. We need to unite. No more war, no more he said, she said, no more uh, countries fighting over each other. We need to hold hands and we need to move forward. No matter what, no more division, nothing. We need to move forward and we need to stop this. We need to educate people. You are unbelievably wise for your 22 years. Mashallah, may Allah bless your words.